Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite fictional character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snag on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. <sighs> back in Hogwarts. I'm back home. <sighs> I miss this place. <laughs> oh. Hello. Let me guess, you're here to pick fun at me, or Malfoy sent you here. Did he? Hopefully not. Why are you here? Hmm? <laughs> you want to know how my summer is? <laughs> Since when did you care what I do in summer? It's miserable. I bet you had a better one than I did. Stuck with the Dursleys for three months. Had to deal with my cousin and Uncle Vernon and... Nothing wrong with Aunt Petunia, but... I, I've been living with them ever since I was a baby and... They just don't treat me like family. Because I resemble like my parents. Yeah, because I'm a wizard, of course. Why do you want to know? Hmm? Are you planning to pick fun at me or make my first day of Hogwarts miserable like Malfoy's? Hmm? What? You got me a present. Who told you when's my birthday? Who told you? Oh. So you're friends with Ginny then? Ginny Weasley? Ron's little sister? Ah. Uh, I didn't know Ginny would befriend a Slytherin girl. Look, I have nothing against you. It's just, whenever I encounter a Slytherin, they attempt to hate me. All because I'm... The Chosen One, the boy who lived, Harry Potter is what they know me. Look, I don't like my fame. I'm just Harry, that's all. I'm just a boy that just wants to be a wizard, like... I'm, I get it, I survived, um... Voldemort, but, um... Just treat me like a human being as well. Fine, give me the present. I'll open it. Maybe later when I see you today, or tomorrow, or dinner time. I'll find you. But we got to meet private, because if I walk over to the Slytherin's table, you know what they're going to do. Especially Malfoy. You got Okay, how about we meet in the girls' bathroom? We're moaning Myrtle's there. Don't worry, she won't bother us. As long as I'm with another girl, she'll be left alone. All right. Well, see you later, listener. And thanks for the gift.
There you are. I wasn't expecting you to actually come here. Yeah, I thought you'd ditch me or forget about me or have Malfoy beside you. I have to double check you. Hmm. Looks like nothing. You were alone, right? Are you sure? No one's not spying on us. Okay. I'll listen to you. For once. So, I looked at your present that you have gave me. And... It's a plushie. Did you handcraft it? <laughs> I got to say, it's very well done. I really like it. It almost looked like Hedwig. Yeah, my owl. <laughs> I, I, was, I wasn't really expecting you to create this for me. Well, I never get that many birthday presents. Well, Ron and Hermione give me presents too. Ron's family, especially his mother, would give me presents too, so, um, yeah. But other than that, from someone else, like a Slytherin, I wasn't expecting a present from you. And I just want to say thanks. <laughs> I was so intrigued what you created for me. I mean, at least I can have this beside me if Hedwig ever passed. I always always have memories of her, because she was such a great owl. Very wise indeed. Yeah. Thank you, listener. <laughs> and thank you, too, for the happy birthday. <laughs> oh? You got another for me? Um, okay. Um, what's the other gift you got for me? Hopefully it's not a prank. I can tell. Then what is it? Uh, oh, okay. Um, you're quite close. Uh, I ho hopefully you're not gonna cast a spell on me. Please. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, you're taking off my glasses. <laughs> actually need those um to see uh, why are you leaning so close to me are you So you like me? Not because I'm Harry Potter. It's more than Harry. <laughs> so you just like me? No wonder. I mean, Ginny has a crush on me and I think she told you all about me. <laughs> I never knew a Slytherin girl would fall for me like that. It's quite rare, I say the least, but, um, <laughs> I gotta say you're not as bad as any other Southern girl that picks on me, but you're pretty much the first that actually likes me more than just my fame. <sighs> Again, thank you for liking me for who I am and not what I am. <laughs> oh, you've got to go. Well, maybe before you go, listener. Okay, if I have another kiss. <laughs> Just one more before we leave. Go in our separate ways. 
Come here. Snatch those glasses away. <laughs> Alright. Looks like we gotta go out now. We might be heading back to our common rooms. Well, hope I could see you around, listener. Hopefully, alone. Because maybe I can do more than just kissing. You'll have to find out yourself. <laughs> see you later, listener. Thank you.